Find out from many Vargas where the cons are. You know, in the back when times, there used to be these great big animals called hippos. That long trunk. One side. Oh god, storyteller. Ah! What's going on, man? Looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen. I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What well, needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Fine. It'd mean a lot to me. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rumors of ghoul activity. Well, okay. What's this? Some kind of hustle going on here? Hello. What can I do for you? Oh, you're just a merchant with some bodyguards. Yeah, and I need sterile medical. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. To Repcon. The strange noise. Four ECWs, wow. Three bar club. It's a whole freaking outpost here. Whole freaking outpost. Abandoned for some reason. Grenade box. Oh yeah, this guy's guitar. You know what? If you're gonna use melee weapons instead of your laser rifle, you know what? You're gonna have a damn good one. Let's try that gun out. Got a lot of enemies. Sh 
Two dead. Back up, back up, back up. Off with your head. Yeah, a mysterious stranger joins the fray. <laughs> ah, such a cool reload. We are at the Repcon test site. Oh, oh, the Vegas scared me there for a second. Blah, 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 okay. Fine. Get moving. Uh, you know what? The ghouls are like zombies. Let's, let's do the shotgun on them. Can you kill it, really? And then we have the nightkin. Oh, hello there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shotgun not doing his... Okay, they're stuck. My tactics have confused them. Ah, ha, ha. I didn't hear my name, did I? Some refer to me simply as the storyteller. But my real name is... Whoa! Did you see that? Sorry, I thought I saw Meyer lurk. Nasty creatures. Come on, Mr. Stranger. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, we're not gonna do the shotgun anymore. Oh, I'm so freaking thirsty. Ah! things up a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Let's go back to the Mauser for now. That gun is, uh, better sh per shot, but the Mauser has twice as many shots. Dead ghoul. So yeah, the nightkin here. East side of the building, he said. It's a dead ghouls.
Must be a glowing one because I'm taking red damage. Nope, just looped back around. Ha! Nope, just the terminal. Now you use your freaking ranged weapon, okay. Ow, oh, the wall. And there's one behind me. Oh my god, how many are there? Alright, they're down. so radioactive fighting them that I, even though I just had it cured, I'm also at radiation sickness. That was weird. Paint gun, bobby pin, bobby pin. Ah, a way up. Let's open that one automatically. Password to get access is Repcon. Or I could just pick the lock. Nuka-Cola. Crisp and refreshing. Could, ah, enemies nearby. I could use a little shut-eye, actually. And a glowing one by the... Rotting Brahmin. Hey, look, a nightkin. A feral ghoul with human flesh. A stealth boy, a former nightkin, who is now an ash pile.
はいはいfind him the arrows going crazy so it's probably like upstairs hello wanderer please forgive us our humble surroundings What's wrong with your our face true home in the far beyond have you come to help us complete the great journey oh god he's going to activate the halo rings I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. What is the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. Is his name Adam, by chance? Healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Tell me about these the demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Demon raved at you. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Sure. Praise the Creator. As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is the way clear? What's the deal with that guy? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Alright, fine. Let me- Ah. <sighs> Let's try uh, that gun again. Hey, that guy must be with the Brotherhood of Steel. No, maybe I just like power armor. <laughs> guy just ranting to himself. Hey. So the obviously the nightkin are the demons. We gotta get rid of them. Uh, 
All right, I bought army. Let's go. I don't know which way to go. Uh, let's go down. Jason sent me. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How'd you get here, buddy? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? Sure. I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Ah, uh, how'd you survive? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. And now what? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me... I do as you ask, but it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Okay. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Find Harlan's friend who's been imprisoned by the Nightkin. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler! For safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Uh... Hi. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Adler used intercom, told them stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. What? Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why? A ghoul, but not squishy. Oh, the one down the hall. This ghoul is tough. 
I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot, and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. Ah, uh, sure. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will.